Remember Animal Crossing? Yeah, me neither. Truth be told, Corona happened, I binged the crap out of the game, got KK, and haven't touched it since. So, what's in store for returning players and even new people in October? Holy shit! Okay, so aside from copious amounts of weeds to erase from existence, what else is there? Well, here's a list of timed events you might have missed since the game's launch. Bunny Day! This guy creeps me out, pollutes your island, and holds ugly DIY recipes hostage. Wedding Season! I miss these guys so much, and they are absolutely adorable together. And I gave up taking their photos after the first day. Earth Day! Yeah, this is pretty cool, but le Leaf is kinda... kinda harsh in my mellow. May Day! Rover in a maze. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm just glad he's here. Museum Day! Scavenger hunting for booths in a museum. Fireworks for August. Pretty lights across the night sky, and you can customize them too. What a good way to wrap up the summer. And those are about all the seasonal events that have happened since March. What if you want to do them? That's nothing to worry about with a little time travel. Remember Animal Crossing? Yeah, me neither. Okay, wow, that's a lot of stuff, and that's not even including all the seasonal bugs and crafting items that happen throughout the year. But what if I don't want to wait for next year, and I don't want to time travel? What is there for me now? Well, for starters, there have been some new NPCs added to the game. Luna, she knows exactly what you're dreaming about. Pascal, an otter whose name is based off of an old philosopher known for System for measuring the effing unit of pressure equal to one meter per square meter. Mm, Gullivar. Yar har, it be Gulliver, but he be a pirate. Yeah, that's it. Leaf. And Red. He's crazy and is a felon. Among these added NPCs, there are still a number of things that you can do that aren't timed events. Dreams! Feel unoriginal? Try stealing other people's island ideas and give them a visit in the dream world. Diving. Swimming, originally in New Leaf, removed in New Horizons and then added back in. Shrubs have been added back into the game. Aw oh, yeah! But most importantly, Halloween! And with this Halloween update, there's a whole bunch of new stuff that you can do. Skin and eye customization. Whoa, I'm green now! Pumpkins. People used to just make these PNGs on the floor. And there's even more events to come, like Christmas. Hey, those are some pretty nice things to do for friendless bums like me. But what about people with social skills? How's the community? Well, it's not at the peak it was around the start of the game. It's still going pretty strong, and the hardcore fanbase is as dedicated as ever. The Animal Crossing Reddit still has around 7,000 members online at a time, and there's still a good amount of active discords to participate in. Literally, just Google it. They seem to also have thousands of members active daily as well. Well, that's Animal Crossing seven months after release. Is it worth it still? For sure, it's still Animal Crossing. While paying mortgages may not be everybody's forte, it's still a really good game, and it's consistently getting new updates and new content through the use of free DLC. And honestly, it's not too late to hop on the train to try it yet. And if you're a returning player, give it a shot again. See what new stuff there is, because I know there's always stuff that's bringing me back to this game now. Especially with Halloween coming up, I'm super excited for that. But yeah, go ahead, give this game a try. I highly recommend it. Hey, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I have a small channel right now, but I'd really appreciate your support in growing. So if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. And think about subscribing, and if you disliked it, go ahead and give it a dislike. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.